Thank you for joining us for our 2022 celebration of Black History Month. As the region's only academic health system, we are dedicated to meeting the healthcare needs of the people of our region. And we have so many talented and devoted people on our team. So we thought it would be interesting and enlightening to hear from some of the pioneers from USA Health and the region who have spent their lives working to eliminate health inequities in Mobile and beyond. Each one brings a different perspective and a different story. We hope you enjoy hearing from them. I came to medical school uh, out of Tuskegee Institute in 1975. Uh, finished medical school actually in 1980 from the University of South Alabama. Um, the only African American in my graduating class. Um, the first to, I stayed here and um, in residency in internal medicine, first African American to train here in internal medicine in any residency training program. And from there, I was a chief medical resident and I stayed and did a pulmonary fellowship here. Came back in 1988, first African American on faculty here. Uh, and I've been here since uh, on the faculty here at the university. I reflect back again when I came through as the only in, all, in various phases of my education. It's the same way in terms of uh, uh, the, it, the impact uh, on communities. When not having physicians that mirror um, the community in which uh, healthcare is being delivered, it, it has an, an impact in terms of uh, people's lack of comfort in terms of just communicating honestly and accurately about their overall clinical conditions or the the passion which one might have, not everyone, but might have or might not have in terms of serving the uh, uh, different communities. Uh, and I can remember as a young intern uh, uh, in my internal medicine clinic, the first time I had a, a group of, of elderly black patients for the first time had, uh, had seen a black physician and they would come and they would want to sit and just talk for prolonged periods of time, which wasn't feasible in terms of looking at the turnover in your clinics. But for the first time, they felt comfortable asking questions about their own health care. They were accustomed to being told and felt that they um, didn't have the, they, would, they didn't feel empowered to ask about their own health care. That's where things have been. Uh, as we create a more diverse workforce, uh, communication barriers are breaking down. As we uh, create a more diverse classroom where cultures are actually coming together and people are actually talking, I think it breaks down barriers for the healthcare providers that are from different racial and ethnic backgrounds when they address others from uh, different racial and ethnic backgrounds. And so by diversifying our classrooms, diversifying our healthcare delivery system, the, the system is better prepared to care for a diverse population. I celebrate black history. I don't just celebrate uh, the month of February. Black history is a continuum. It, impact, it impacts our daily lives every day, every month. 